Welcome to episode three of Practical Chess Openings. And this episode today is very practical. If you're a club player that plays the London system, you're going to face a lot of the Chagorin defense, and you're all but guaranteed that you're going to win a number of games with this trap. So let's just dive right into it. We won't spend as much time on the opening because we've already talked a bit about the Chigorin. The Chigorin is knight to c6 here. Our, bish our uh, London is great against it because we foil their plans of playing an early e5. And now today, what I wanted to look at was the most common move. We had previously been looking at the move bishop to f5. Today we're going to look at knight to f6. That's actually the most common move by black. And what we're going to do, if you remember, when we looked at these lines, we played a quick c4 here. And we were trying to just create quick action on the queen side because they've kind of blunted our king side attacks by, you know, with, imagine we can't really get our bishop to uh, d3. I mean, we can, but it won't be able to exert attacking pressure and so we would whip up quick um, play against the center and on the queen side and we're going to be doing the same thing but we're going to be doing it in a different way and just I just wanted to point out kind of the reason for this to try to understand why we're not playing c4 um, after knight to f3 and it's perfectly fine to do that by the way but the main reason is if you look at this position here Black has not committed his knight to f6. And so what we're going to do, and you'll see in just a second, is we're going to be putting pressure on this c6 knight. And so if black hasn't committed his knight to f6, he could still play it to e7, and it would just kind of uh, make our plan that we're going to do at this, you know, for this uh, trap a little bit less effective. So let's just go back and to look at the actual, get towards the actual trap here. So... What we're going to do is we're going to be playing this move here, bishop to b5, instead of an immediate c4. And so we play this bishop to b5 here. And the idea is we're pinning this knight to the king, and our dream is to go knight to e5 and converge pressure on that knight. And that's what's going to happen very frequently, because you can see here the most common move in this position is e6 by black. So voila, we play our knight to e5. And now the most common move by black, and in this variation it's played, uh, in this database it's played 13,000 times, almost 14,000 times, but um, it's the most common move. And it's bishop to d6. And so now we actually have a winning position. And the idea is, is we can just take Knight takes knight, the most common move here, played, well, 80, over 80% 80 of the time is pawn takes knight. We just play bishop takes pawn, and we have this winning fork of the king and the rook. Now, players may try to play this queen to d7 move, but in that case, we're still winning. We just take the a pawn, and we support, we support that bishop that is pinning the queen to the king. And so their only chance for black, it's not a chance, but the only move at all is to play c6. And then we basically are up two pawns. So we just uh, grab the booty and go. We just take the money and run. We just retreat. And we're up two full pawns. And they don't have compensation for it. So... This is the most common trap that you'll get against the Chigorin. And this isn't the only line that it'll come up in, but it's the only time that we'll show it in this video series. It's the most common way um, that we'll get it. And it's just important to know because um, I've had people, I've had a number of people fall into this, and a lot of the time they'll just rage quit. Um, they'll just disconnect. You know, they'll resign right on the spot. They'll let their clock run down to nothing. So, um, anyway, I mean, I, it's a good, a good thing to add to your toolbox. Um, 
if you're getting sick of uh, these uh, Chigorin, just remember that uh, you're going to love playing against the Chigorin and you'll never get sick of winning. So um, just uh, would want to mention I, I'm trying to like pick up these tricks as I go. When I find come across good ones, I'll try to make a video of it because I do think we can learn a lot. Um, it helps us kind of learn this opening better. I put some links down in the show description. If you're an adult improver or a club player, I would strongly suggest uh, you know watching some of Alex Banzi's YouTube videos. I put a link to his playlist down below, and I would also consider you know take a look at his uh, chessable course. It's the best course I've seen. I've, obviously, I'm not paid to say this or anything, so um, I'm just telling you what I believe to be true. It's kind of uh, it's uh, really helping me a lot in my game. So. Anyway, take care. We'll see you at the next one.